What's up, Kart Lifers? It's your boy Sammy D here covering Mario Kart Tour and the brand new Princess Tour about to open it up. We're back in the Kart Life closet for a premiere today and a tour reaction for this brand new tour. We're going to break down everything you need to know if you're a new player, a returning player, a longtime veteran of the game, and take a look at Wee Daisy Circuit coming to Mario Kart Tour, a track that none of us really expected would be coming to Mario Kart Tour because there are now so many tracks being added into this mobile game, way too many than would fit in the Booster Course Pass for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, I put a video out about this recently, it's a very hot topic, people cannot get enough of it, uh, so do check that out if you haven't, and I speculate on the possibility of a second Booster Course Pass. There's just so many tracks, they're dumping two at a time into a lot of the tours lately, and today, in this tour, we have not just Wee Daisy Circuit, but GBA Peach Beach, uh, Peach Circuit, excuse me. This is another GBA glow up from Mario Kart Super Circuit. The history of the glow ups from GBA in Mario Kart Tour has been great. They've all been really good. Some people have had a couple issues with the, some of them, you know, we're very, people are very attached to the original layouts and stuff, which are always going to change in the GBA versions. I expect substantial changes, just like we had in Sky Garden or uh, Riverside Park. Um, we've had so many others, Sunset Wilds, etc. We might have another one coming even next tour. There's a lot of data mining out there that's showing what's happening in the future of Mario Kart Tour and if you want to know what's going on with all that data mining, I do talk about it in a members only video that I just posted last week. So if you want to join up as a member, you'll get some exclusive content like that. that I'm just kind of kind of trying to keep on the down low out of respect to Nintendo. But now we have a princess tour. You see we Daisy Circuit right here. It's an awesome track. I think it looks it's going to look great. Uh, cursed Daisy statue aside. We have no new driver, and a lot of players are getting really burnt out on no new alts or original characters coming to the game. I'm definitely formulating some more formal thoughts on this topic that I will discuss soon. We could have had Bowser Tuxedo for like a wedding tour, even though, yeah, it's Daisy Circuit. Who cares? Make Peach Circuit the main track. Put Bowser Wedding, Bowser Tuxedo in there. We haven't got him yet. We need a new coin boxer, probably. Um, that would actually be an inspiring driver to counteract the Mii meta a little bit right now. The Miis have been taking over the game though, so let's see, in Ranked Cup, are we going to be using any of our high-powered plus skill Mii racing suits, and are you guys collecting all the Miis and kind of dominating right now with those? So let's open it up. There's another big headline for the tour, which is a reskin of the Cupid's Arrow, one of my favorite carts in the game. It's got an amazing hitbox, meaning picking up as many coins as you can when you're doing coin boxes or even going over a ramp and trying to get a couple coins each time. Cupid Zero is amazing and we finally have a reskin of it. It's a silver one and a gold one and it looks like the gold one might be a purchasable cart with rubies, not a gold pass of gift. So let's open it up and take a look. Peach Gardens R is coming back into ranked it looks like. Regular Daisy Circuit will get a chance to race it. Peach Circuit T is in ranked cup. Before we get into all this, ranked results are on display from week two of the Me Tour. Thanks for coming in. Every Tuesday we do the grind, uh, sometimes every Monday. I want you guys to come check out the live stream. We run the tracks, work on the lines. I can help you guys out with any pointers on the tracks. And it's really fun to see how well we can do. This week I had Ed Havoc, a top 10 player or top five player, and I had to settle for second place. Second is great because it's only five rubies less at these higher tiers, no big deal. Now here's something really cool. Question Block Me Suit, I've never bought one. I've only accrued them from awards. And I guess it's already to level four just from that. So finally, my Question Block Me Suit has Coin Box Plus. This is great. This is makes it very easy for me to take it to six or seven or whatever. If it's in Ranked Cup, give me a chance to use this in Ranked Cup, please, where I can actually win with it or you know beat the next person ahead of me. Uh, but it's interesting because I got all my Mii's at top base point level. Gold Origami Glider. We get these gold gliders, they just stack up and stack up. Um, if you're a newer player, don't stress it about, like, should I invest in any of these? A lot of them don't pan out to have great value. The things that pan out to have great value are things that we're gonna be seeing um, in Ranked Cup, in the Spotlight Shop. I'll point them out as we look at them. And you can also go over to Studfish channel, see Antelope's top 10, and just get involved in the community with the Discord, see what the top items are in the game that you wanna invest in if you're a newer player. Because they're very, obvious and uh, foolproof if you can listen to some of our advice on which items to invest in. Of course, invest in whatever you want, but the idea of following the meta is remember this. I think this gets lost a lot 
in the shuffle, in the discussion. The whole point of following a meta is so that you can do better, accrue more resources, and then be able to do whatever you want with those resources. Following the meta does not mean you have to do all of these exact things and you can't do anything you actually want to do. You can't invest into the drivers you like, you can't invest the carts you like. No, the point is take the meta, follow it as much as you can, because if you're just investing in random things that you like, you're, you might not succeed as much and then you're not gonna have any resources to do anything with those items you like. So it's a good balance you wanna have like, I like to think of it as like 80, 85% meta strat and then bring in some of my own fun items on the side to balance it out. And you can all work together with these investments and kind of build your own sandbox game. As Kevin Garrett used to always say, it's a sandbox game. It's an RPG type Mario Kart game where you can really build your account however you want. And advanced accounts like mine who've been playing since day one, I don't have a lot of like crazy big moves I could do. So I'm just looking for exciting little things we can do here and there. And with my me base points maxed out, it's something that is more and more tempting to go into some of these me's because I've kind of crossed that hill on the roller coaster. 163 is what I got in ranked. Uh, I know we want to get into the new tour, but I want to really quickly point out my pit crew members. This is my mid tier member list. You guys are amazing. Some of my best supporters. And we have at the top Kanye East, who is our permanent pit crew captain. Um, he's one pit crew chief. This is the first place in ranked uh, in friends ranking. So many weeks, uh, Kanye East crushed it with 219. I believe he got top 10 once again. Question about me, so you see his meme meta here. You also see uh, these level eight carts and gliders, especially the new red uh, checkered, whatever you call that glider. <laughs> uh, but what we did is we grandfathered Kanye East, AKA Kareem into the pit crew captain role, which means pit crew chief is going to be whoever is after Kareem or next in line. And we have a brand new pit crew chief this week. I wanna give a huge shout out to ER Shadow Legend, one of our newest pit crew members. And he comes in and like the second or third week he's been on the friends list and got pit crew chief. Congrats to you, Shadow Legend. Uh, question about me suit, gold me suit, gold charging chuck, also took the new glider to level eight. Red checker glider, there it is. And you got the 8-bit one up, that's one of the all time uh, gliders of the last year. Who knows? It might be in ranked again this week. Uh, the rest of the top 10 for the pit crew, we have Set and Neo. Big shout out to you. We have Carlos, uh, another great YouTuber coming Mario Kart Tour with 208,000. Then we have in fifth place, Extreme Coast. Very nice placement from Extreme Coast. Uh, maybe your first top five in the pit crew list. I'm not sure. 196K and took that Nabbit parachute to level six that now that parachute's been doing really well i'm thinking about investing in it as well hero going for top 10 i believe he made it as well hero of the skies congrats to you and look still using that super gold blooper card and a level eight pink comet tail um i really was very tempted by these cards i got the green one as the ranked <coughs> reward last tour um the red one, I missed it when it was 70 rupees, but I actually bought it in week two just yesterday for 100 rupees because I had this feeling that I didn't want to miss having it, which if it appears in ranked again, it will come back into the shop, but usually a few tours pass before that happens. So if it's in ranked the next few tours and I want to invest in it, I want to have it there as a standby. I like how it feels. I like the hitbox of it. You know, it's really good. Like you got that green comment, you can test it out in a track. I really like the hands, like I like the size of it, the hitbox. It's not one of the most massive carts, but it's good enough. And I guess I always slept on the original Comet Tail. I mean, I, I have it, I, I didn't use it a lot, but for some reason I like these colored comets. So I, I have the red and the green, I don't have the pink. So we'll see how those goes. Those go going forward. It'll be interesting to see. So congrats, Hero. Then we have Frenzy Grind, Z in seventh place. Nice one. And then we've got E Deedle in eighth. Rounding out the pit crew top 10, Jeeves with 191. Jeeves had a great tour with his best ACR sheet yet, and I'm very proud of you, bro. Aussie Cart is in 10th place. Shout out to you, man. I don't know if you're awake for this premiere or not. The rest of the pit crew friends, those big shout outs to all of you guys. Nintendo, one of our newest members, is at 11th, just outside of the top 10. We got Raz, we got Kruga, we got Jamin Cart, Torchy, Telecom, Shadows, Stuffit, Luca is our new member right here with 177. Ohio Bobcat 3, Professor J, Larry 98, Adam, Tyler, DK Quagmire, and I'm just outside the top 25. I thought I did pretty good, but it was a high scoring week uh, last week. So there's me, Sammy D. 
Yoshi Bear, Dulysses, K Fett, Mark, Frenzy Fan, Spy 2K, Snicker Bobble, and Celeb himself, Frenzy Fangirl, Jack the Dark Blue Yoshi, Chicken Leg, I forgot about that, sorry about that, and yes, I need to unmute you. Brian the Voice, Savador Am, Adam Yowie, William Frieden, Pit Curry, Spicy Mayo, Sergeant Spike, Brian, Tim, Tex, my whale captain, Charles Master, another whale captain, and Grooky Cart rounding it out. So congrats to all of y'all. And if you want to be a Cart Life member, there's a queue of about four or five people waiting on the pit crew list. Uh, you can get the friend code and the friend ad if there is a spot available. Right now, there's a little bit of a waiting list. Would love to have your support nonetheless if you love what I do here on the channel. So shout out to all my members, all my whale captains, and everyone in this premiere right now. Thanks for coming. Leave a like if you're ready to get into this tour. Here we go. So the Princess Tour starts now. Um, Let's go down to from from down from down below up. Uh, we're gonna have event tokens by causing people to crash. So this is interesting. A lot of people use auto clickers or iOS voice commands and tap uh, tap commands um, to get coins doing runs and grinding out all the tokens so you can clear out that entire token shop pretty easily. Uh, but causing opponents to crash will take a little bit longer. You can use giant banana drivers for this is really good. Use Bowser shell drivers and stay in the back. I like giant banana the best probably for causing opponents to crash. So very interesting. And in the token shop, we're going to have a daisy balloon for the first time. Some super cart tickets, which is nice. I need those actually because I'm down in those. And I'm going to be trying to use one of those in cookie land uh, at some point. So yeah, there's the token shop items. Uh, we're going to blast through this because I know you guys want to see me race daisy cruiser. Uh, Daisy Circuit. We have a lot of tracks now to keep up with. Uh, Cart Pro is here this tour. A little bit earlier than I thought it might return, but uh, you're going to get extra rubies. A whole card just for Cart Pro where you can get extra rubies for winning three races in a streak in multiplayer. And it's a great chance to work on your multiplayer skills. You want to turn off auto items so you can always have a defensive item behind you. Take those really tight lines. Take the shortcuts that you normally, normally don't get to take in Ranked Cup because you're trying to get actions go for those shortcuts go for first place be very defensive use a small cart there's lots of great cart pro strats and get some extra rubies for your game that'll be fun so we have the daisy me suit is finally here okay i'm paying my me taxes i'm collecting every single me suit a lot of people who are just starting out it might seem overwhelming to collect every me suit um it really is, it does seem to be the end game of Mario Kart Tour. I don't know if we are at the end of the game. I don't know if we're even anywhere close. We might be halfway through the lifespan of Mario Kart Tour. I don't know. But with no cap in sight for the Mii base points, it does seem this is the end game in terms of, you know, when all is said and done, you're going to want to really have all these Mii suits and invest in several of them. Um, you're going to be able to just dominate. And that's what I'm trying to do. I've been doing it with the gold suit. I've been doing it with the silver suit. I want to do it with a couple others. I'm just waiting for those chances that they're in ranked cup. So every tour we're paying our me tax and we're buying this at 70. I love the look of this thing that kind of, it's almost mustardy yellow with the orange. We've been waiting on this one. We had the peach one for a long time. They finally gave us the Daisy me racing suit. So very cool. And we're going to have the pink one too. Now, where's the pink one? Is it available in the shop also, or we're going to have to earn that? So let's see if we can find it. Now, the first exchange in a tour, the gold Cupid's arrow. This is what I've been waiting for. This is one of those carts, okay, where it's kind of like the off-roader or the crawly cart, where if there's a new variant of it, and this is the first time they've ever made a variant of the Cupid's arrow, that I personally am absolutely going to buy it and I absolutely want to invest immediately. Now, I tend to not invest immediately. Like I'm not gonna just throw tickets on this to level eight right now before your eyes, before I even look at if I'm even using it in ranked cup. I really hope I'm using this in ranked cup and maybe I have like a level four card or level three card or a level five card, or maybe I have a level six card already on that track, but it's a smaller card and it's a coin box track and I can upgrade my hitbox. If I could have one use or two use, I would really love to go in on this gold Cupid's arrow and kind of take a gamble. Um, we're absolutely just buying this right now. I don't see why I wouldn't. Only 300 rubies. We're going to have to get another pink uh, me racing suit. Wow, this thing looks crazy. They got the, the actual diamond on the front. It's not all gold, it's got the actual diamond. Oh my gosh, I'm down to 235 rubies. I'll cruise some more, but 
buying those four Koopaling Mies uh, really took me down in rubies a little bit. And I bought that red Comet for 100 yesterday. But you know what? It's like I give myself a little bit of a challenge. It's okay, if I go down to one or 200 rubies, I like this challenge. You know, it kind of make me want to earn every possible ruby I can again. Uh, because after the pipes are gone, we kind of... The value of rubies is a little bit... It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel like it's as important. Um, but... I predicted that this could happen, that after many tours, after the pipes, that we could start getting low on rupees again. Uh, it's kind of happening for me. Now we have the first exchange here, 30% off, Sweet Day Tripper. This is not a meta notable card. If you happen to love Valentine stuff or, you know, red and white, and this is just totally your jam, then fine, go for it. But this is not a meta card you need to worry about at all. Uh, I would just move on. Um, then we have the Glittering Glider. This is a gold version of the Glinting Glider. So we have the Glittering, Glittery Parasol. We have the Glittering Glider. We have the Glinting Glider. We have probably others. We have all kinds of gold gliders, Golden Glider. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> here's another commemorative. The original Glinting Glider, the, the Silver Tiara, was also a commemorative. I'm calling it commemorative, but now they have them every tour and they don't say uh, commemorative item. But it was one of the best commemorative items they've ever released, actually. It's one of my top gliders on several tracks. Uh, Cookie Land, it's on Cookie Land, which is a returning battle track. You want to make sure those battle track loadouts are stuff, are loadouts that you have, you're focusing on because those battle tracks come over and over every other tour. There's only a few battle tracks and they're just cycling through them and not adding any others. For some crazy reason so these loadouts actually have more value than other loadouts but the original was good I'm, I'm tempted I will probably get one of these just stash it because you never know and then here we have another commemorative we have two commemoratives this tour it's the silver cubits arrow so two reskins of one of my favorite cards when we talk about hitbox I don't know how it works and data miners are actually starting to actually look at the actual hitbox shape in the game codes in the game files. I'm really excited to learn more about like what is a hitbox? Is it a literal like three dimensional rectangle that encompasses the cart or is it a custom shape? Because to me, the, the little curvy wings that stick out on the side of this, not the wings on the back, but the, the handles on the side of like little handles. Those, to me, pick up so many more coins than you would think. It's almost like the hitbox extends outside of the shape of the cart, like more than it should. Almost like the hitbox is broken or something and they, it's an error. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's so good for coin collecting. And, you know, as you're turning and tilting, that box is tilting and turning. You want a, a nice backside. You want a nice middle, a medium, uh, middle of the cart. Width is really important for coin collecting. You don't want a skinny cart. You don't want that zoom broom. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm going to definitely be buying this. So either of those Cupid's arrows could be coming into play in Ranked Cup. And then our returning drivers, we don't have any new alts. Like I said, we could have had Daisy Vacation with Coin Box. We could have had Bowser Tuxedo with Coin Box. We could have had Peach Swimwear. I don't care that it's not a beach tour. Daisy Circuit's kind of on the beach. Let's, it's the summertime, We're, let's get peach swimwear. I, I never thought I'd be wanting regular peach alts, but I'm trying to speak on behalf of the, the people on my server and the Cart Life fans out there. A lot of you guys are finding the game really stale because of the lack of alts. This is the longest we've ever gone without a new alt from what I've been hearing. We had Astro, I mean, sorry, we had Tourist Toad. Um, I think since then, it's the longest we've gone in a, in a minute. Anyway, Peach Wedding, she used to do pretty good, but it's not something you need to, it's not someone you really need to focus on, unless you're collecting the princesses and the peaches. And big shout out to Draco655. Uh, um, the Mushroom Legacy, Draco's channel, he covers only princess meta, and it's pretty fun. Okay, Princess Tour starts now. So we have, oh, a new filter! They, this has been hinted at for a long time and I've been wanting to request this. Why only one new filter? I thought there were several more filters they were working on. A new filter pop art. Oh my gosh, guys. Do we bring back the screenshot challenge? I love taking screenshots in this game and they've added a one new filter. That's so odd. Why not add four or five? 
I know, I know there's others they can do. Interesting. That is so random. So, so, so random. <laughs> okay, so Spotlight is open. Peach Wedding and Gold Cupid Arrow Cart with DS Peach Gardens are as a favorite course. All right, so I don't remember what my cart is on DS Peach Gardens are, but we will see if we can use that Cupid's Arrow. Sweet Day Tripper. Um, do, 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 do. A lot of um, fine print. Peach Me Racing Suit is on sale. So it looks like the Daisy suit. It's very similar. It's a really nice design. Where's the pink suit? Hmm. Let's see. Premium challenges plus plus. And then we have ranked. Oh, okay. So here we go. Birdo Red, Red Turbo Birdo. These are new supers, I'm assuming. And they're going to be ranked rewards for week one. And then in week two, you're going to have to focus on that week to get the pink me racing suit. Of course, it comes to like the top three or top... I think the top three players in the higher tier. So you don't have to get first place, but we'll look at that. Peach Cup and Fire Rosalina Cup are the ranked cups. And then in um, Tour Gifts, we are going to have Gold Pass Gifts, the sil another Gold Silver Bells thing here. And the, I didn't know you could pull out this image. That's really weird. And the Silver and Gold Hearts. The banner is actually Daisy Fairy. Interesting. I thought it would be Peach Wedding, but have we had a Daisy Fairy badge? Someone let me know in the chat. So ACR players might be able to go for a brand new badge there. And let's look at, oh my gosh, let's just blast through the different categories right here. Today's challenges, the badge we're going to be getting here is this uh, Peach and Daisy Royal Patisserie. Uh, we wanna go get some pastries. I could have done this video live from a French pastry shop. Um, let's go to the shop. Here's our commemoratives up here. We have Peach Wedding, we have the Sweet Jade Tripper. They are on sale right now and they'll go to, to normal price after this week. Uh, Gold Cupid's Arrow. And then here's some spotlight items. We can see Peach Happy is gonna be using ranked. Astronaut Toe is gonna be using ranked. The Moo Moo Offroader, the Blue Crawley, the Red Mark II. So some nice items here. The Wonderful Wings, I like the look of this. These are all items that are going to be used in ranked. You can re-roll a daily spotlight if there's something you really, really need for ranked by using a quick ticket, but don't forget, it, it, there are items that will appear more frequently than others, and those will include probably Astronaut Toad. Um, you can look on our server and the resources channel, also over on StudFit's video, you can see which items are most frequent, which are semi-frequent, and the gold ones will be rare. But these re refresh every day. So wait through the week if you're looking for something in particular, you don't have to burn all your quick tickets trying to find the thing you want. Here are the me suits available this tour. I hope you're collecting them. Down at the bottom, you have three of the colored ones. Those are really clean. I love how those look. The peach one is the only one that's on sale. So if you're buying only one, the ones that are on sale in your efforts to catch up, that's great. Just letting you know, that's what I did at first too. I only bought the 70 ruby suits. And then I was like, you know what? I need to keep catching up faster. I'm just gonna start getting the 100 ruby suits because I don't know when the certain suits I need are gonna come back. So I might advise you that you think about doing that. Token Shop is here and Daily Selects. Whoa, we are starting out strong with a cart ticket. And I've got an interesting thing to tell you guys. I'm really close to maxing my super gliders. In fact, I think as of today, or maybe later in the day, I'll have enough tickets to max out all my super gliders and close out one more slot in Daily Selects. So tomorrow I will have one more category finished. Let's grab this one that is beautiful. Starting off with a high end ticket. But you know what? Let's, um, Let's re-roll it. Let's re-roll it one more time. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Mm, no, nothing on the second shot. That's okay. Um, we could have finished out the gliders before doing that, but I just wanted to see what happens on stream with you guys. We have the tier shop tickets. These are overpriced. They're 3,000 more. If you're going to splurge on a tier shop ticket because you're not getting many in your daily selects, and everyone has a base chance of getting high-end tickets in your daily selects, even if you haven't maxed any categories, and if you want to find out how to max categories, you can check that out on our Discord as well, and we'll help you out. But if you're going to buy one, buy this driver one for 15k. Uh, it's by far the most bang for your buck. We're already getting a challenge unlocked by buying a daily select here, and I want to show you guys what's available in the challenges. The normal paid challenges are there, but in terms of the rest of this, here's Cart Pro. Here you're going to get 22 rubies. That's because I am in S plus seven, I believe. I haven't gone all the way up to S plus nine, but the amount of rubies in the top reward is based on your uh, ranking in multiplayer. Then for this page, you're gonna have cart tickets in total points challenge one. 
uh, you want to get that high-end cart ticket there. And then in our gifts, there's going to be an extra glider ticket there at the top. Two extra glider tickets, in fact, if you're gold pass. So yeah, those are the challenges. So extra carts, extra gliders, but in ranked, it is driver ticket week. In driver ticket week, you want to focus on getting second if you can to get the most driver cap tickets. Driver level tickets, driver cap tickets, these are worth double the amount of point potential than you can earn, uh, than is represented by a cart or glider ticket. So very important to focus on driver weeks. Now week one is driver week and week two is the pink Misu week. So this is, these are two pretty important ranks if you're trying to stay at the top and accrue as many resources as you can. Let's see who's in our ranked cup. Okay, so what, KOB, I, uh, 78 MKGI, we got OGA, we got Jesse, we got Shy Guy 99, we got Lulu, Furiosa 82F, Uber Eats, Araceli, um, we got a couple Asian players, Steven, Fick2, I know we, Gattaca, I don't recognize anyone. Don't recognize anyone yet. Uh, let me know if you recognize any of these players. And right here, there are the seven driver cap tickets, but they're also available in second place right here. Now, if you place fourth or fifth, you're gonna get the turbo, red turbo Birdo cart. You're not gonna get red turbo, red Birdo herself. Um, so yeah, without further ado, it's time to look at ranked loadouts and we're going to race these tracks. So let's get some game music going and check out our loadouts. I'm very excited to see what we're gonna have. It's always fun to see, always fun to see. What are some possible investments we could be making? What are the drivers we wanna focus on this tour? Are there gonna be any super carts? Are there gonna be super gliders in rank that I wanna focus on and put my tickets onto those items? How are our resources gonna get divvied up? Let's check it out. Uh, I just wanna peek here at week two. It's gonna be Peach Circuit. Snowland T and Daisy Circuit RT. So we have the standard Peach Circuit and the standard Peach uh, Daisy Circuit. We'll be able to do both of these on this stream here in a second. We'll look at our loadouts first. If you want to see my first impressions of these two new tracks, just hang on till the end of our loadout discussion because this is very important. Uh, you got to get your tools and get your gear uh, before you hit that track and know what you're working with as we approach the entire next two weeks of this game. And yes, I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom every day. I'm dialing down my Mario Kart Tour playtime, but we want to get a grip on what's going on here. So Daisy Circuit, let's see who is shown. Gold me suit, are you kidding me? What? Oh my God, what a buff. What a buff. Oh my God. Wow. Gold me suit, tier 80 and above. Hey, Faye. Hey, you want to say hi? Come here, Faye needs some attention. Come here. Look, look, come here. Come. Faye does not like being picked up, but I want you to see my baby. Yeah, can you say hi to them? I'll put you down, because I know you don't love being picked up. He likes being picked up for just a second. He starts getting a little freaked out, you can tell. So that's baby Faye. And Bach is around here. Just wanted to give that little cameo for the Faye lovers. But we have the Golden Racing Suit. Insane. Insane. The Bronze got it too. White Tanuki Mario. Silver Me Suit. They are just like, they could not be making a more clear message to players that this is what you need to be investing in the Me Suits. But for newer players, this is awesome. You can race with, race with regular Peach. You can race with regular Daisy. Practice your lines, practice keeping combo, get some super driver tickets. Man, it's it's nice to see supers all the way to me suits. So every player is going to be crushing it here. And you can also, this is one of my sleeper favorite drivers. Giant banana skill is amazing for causing opponents to crash and getting tokens. White Snooki Mario is gonna lay waste on this track, I have a feeling. So gold me suit, what's our card? Is this where we see an off-roader? Is this where we see a silver cupid or a gold cupid? or Moo Moo Off-Roader, or maybe the red Mark II. Oh my God, two other Mark IIs. Wow. Okay, so I have my level six two cream mint. I did my Matt Aldridge flow ticket time rankings and the cream B dash was actually doing pretty well. I love these Mark IIs. I've had this personal hobby, a little passion project to start investing in them so I can use them more often whenever they're in ranked or any track, and this this one keeps coming back up. The sky blue one also got this one. 
Um, and here's that red comment. If I didn't have the Mark IIs, this would be coming in clutch. But I got a level 6-2 cream. That's going to be awesome. I'm trying to see what else we have here that's notable. Two super cards. So this is really interesting. Again, if you're a new player, Day Tripper, rock that with Peach, rock that with Daisy. Look for this in the daily selects and pick one up if you see one. Very cool. So I'm using the cream. I could take it to seven. Who knows? Glider. Glinting, I just said. Oh, and that eight level eight flower glider. We have a level eight super. A level eight quad cap super will beat a level six double capped high end. Um, there's a very complex point system in this game, and if you want to see how all that works, again in the Cart Life Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat, you can see the link also in the description below. There are charts that show you does a level six 595 outscore a level 8 492 super the reason this is where it is is because it's easier to use super tickets than it is high-end tickets you maybe get more super tickets you don't use them as often because they're not featured in ranked but here we have a complete super loadout by peach or daisy with the day tripper or uh what was the other one the birthday girl the yellow birthday girl and the flower glider so it's a full super loadout you also have this one is great the royal parachute it's been great for a long time it's an old school year one meta but not really fully meta but yeah it did pretty well um and then the glinting like i said level six and this is my cookie land glider so if i were tempted to take this to level seven to try to win uh and do well this week i would i would definitely consider it so what a great loadout here that's awesome and let's look at our other loadouts before we get into daisy circuit and Peach Circuit and race them. Peach Gardens are a returning track, and let's see what we have. Let's remind ourselves what we have. Ty Daisy, I took the level, level seven triple cap, that's amazing. So in terms of regular drivers, you have Ty Daisy, you have Golf Luigi, Wedding Peach. Ty Daisy is by far the best of the original drivers. Uh, Toadette, Astronaut, no. You have some me suits though. Now this PD Prana me. This is going to be crazy. A lot of people invested in this one. Um, it's one of the top me. I think it's the top non-metallic me. So after you have gold me suit or whatever, and the question block me racing suit, this is pretty much, I think, the next best me racing suit. Because of the high action count ceiling for Boomerang. If you're boomboxing, you can have a higher action count really than anything else by scooping up coins with Boomerang. Uh, so very interesting. You could choose from these me racing suits. Santa one is a sleeper two. A lot of the top whales who invest in all of the uh, plus skill me's, this is one. And this suit has not come back and it might not come back till next Christmas. But Ty Daisy, I have her at level seven triple cap. She's one of the best non-me drivers in the game. After gold charge and chuck, gold, she's probably better than gold PD. I think she's consistently over gold PD in the Antelev charts. Um, just under gold charge and chuck in terms of regular non-me drivers. So for carts, we have the Moo Moo Off-Roader. I hate to see it right up against the gold Cupid. This is a strike. Um, I already have a level six Off-Roader. Off-Roader is a better hitbox than the Cupid Zero, although it's close, it's close, it's very close. But I have a level six double cap already. You have Tropical Truck, you have the Blue Crawly getting another overlap with an Off-Roader. That Blue Crawly, man, is, it is not showing me See, I'm really hoping these these new Cupid Zeros don't just become the Blue Crawly. I, I know some people really want to believe in this Blue Crawly, and maybe for their account it's been great. For me, it's not showing any hard, maybe one or two unique tracks where I don't already have a bigger car on that track. But man, it's hard to see that gold Cupid. Maybe we'll see it on two of the other ranked tracks. We still have four to look at. Here's the Moomoo Off-Roader, and come on, the eighth that won a mushroom. Wow, wow. What else can be said? It's by far the glider of the year. We knew it was going to be the glider of the year last year um, when we did Stuff It's Awards uh, with me and Antelev and Carlos. It's just, we knew this was going to be glider of the year. You could already tell it was happening. And it's not even halfway through this year. And it's definitely the glider of the year. Wonderful Wings, though, glider of last year. So great gliders here. Um, those are two if you're new. You want to pick those up in the Spotlight Shop and throw down on them. Throw all your tickets at either of those. Pick your poison. Uh, but 8-Bit 1-Up is the best. That's an amazing loadout for Peach Gardens R. And we won't race it today on the video, but we'll race that track on the grind. It'll be Monday or Tuesday you want to tune in. Peach Circuit T. So a uh, T version of the new Peach Circuit. Uh, you can see how influenced the track is by Super Nintendo World. I don't really love that. Uh, we'll talk about that track as we race it. 
But here's Peach Happy. I love her. It would be awesome if she got this as an exclusive for um, for once, and there were no other plus skills except her. That would make me super happy. But I don't know. Is that too much to ask for? Is that too good to be true? Probably is. Let's see. Astronaut Toad and Peach Happy get it, and Poochie. So there are three plus skill non memes. But look at this. Shout out to E. Deedle. The Morton Me Racing Suit with Giant Banana gets this track. That's pretty dang good. That's a really good buff. That's a good buff. That's a good buff. Um, Toad Astronaut and Peach Happy, both plus skills. Boomerang is great. Lucky Seven is great. I like Lucky Seven grinding more than Boomerang grinding because. With Boomerang, you know that ceiling is there for Boombox potential, and it's hard to not just say, oh, let me try some more. Let me try for another hour or two hours to try to get that Boombox lobby and get that ultimate run. But it can really wear you down and burn you out. Um, it's all about getting the right lobby, but that takes some time. But Peach Happy, I kind of like this, because I have two options right now, six double capped um, for both. I could also decide I'm investing in the Morton Misu. I mean, look, it, without using any tickets at all for base points, I haven't even finished its base points, and it's already almost beating the base points of a double-capped Peach Happy, a double-capped Astronaut Toad. I haven't even, it's not even normal base points. It's not even normal, normal cap. So that's, that's insane. So just a couple tickets on that one would be very overpowered. But level six is still a level six. Um, it would take a lot of tickets for me to try to actually beat Peach Happy or Astronaut Toad. So interesting. And poor Poochie just doesn't get a chance. You know, they've really done this new original character dirty. We want to see original characters in the game. We want them to get some exclusive tracks. It's even harder now in the me era to even get an exclusive track. But when you do get it and you're still up against Mii's and you still give the same track to Peach Happy, who I love, but you... <laughs> You're just completely killing the value of Poochie. I, I mean, I do not know what they're doing. I do not know what they're doing. Uh, let's go on to the Carsting Liars. Oh, okay, there's the silver. So look at that. Here, this is our first sign that the silver Cubadero is the one. Now I did buy this commemorative just because I love Asian soups. Uh, <laughs> but uh, dude, this is the chance. Wow, Pink Speeder is the number one car I don't own that I should be getting and investing in honestly if this is wild because if this had not come out right now because i'm gonna buy this um, i might buy it three times and do a little splurge there for 12 bucks or whatever um i'm gonna be using this but if it weren't there this would be when i would get the pink speeder and finally invest in it this track this car has like eight or nine tracks for me and that still might be the smarter move I'm not using a coin boxer, so I don't really care about using the cub Cupid Zero on this track when you really think about it. That's really tricky. I want to kind of see how that plays out over the week. And you know what? Remember, guys, what's the number one rule in cart life? What's the number one rule of cart life? I'm just going to let you guys say it to me in the chat. I'll give you a second. Who knows? That's right. Be patient and only do things when you have to. If I don't need to do either of these things, I'll just win ranked with a level one hot pot or a level one cubit zero and I won't even give it a second thought. Um, but it is nice to make some moves every now and then for your entire inventory. Just look at your trackers, make sure they make sense. Interesting, gliders we've got, wow, the wonderful diamond. Now this is a true exclusive clutch buff. I gambled on this glider somewhat early and it is paying off at this point. Usually it has some overlap, like it'll get a 8-bit 1-up mushroom track or something. But here I have a level 6 triple and I have a 1 and a 1. That means, oh, yes, I chose wisely with this glider. And it's now in the Antelev top 10, in the top 5, top 3. It might move up to number 2 or number 1, you never know. So that's a good loadout. Uh, quickly, let's look at next week's loadouts as well. Again, we want to have a bigger picture overview. So what are the takeaways so far? Right off the top of my head, Daisy Tidress. I love that she's there, probably won't take her higher, but on Peach Circuit T, that's kind of my deficiency where I need to look at a cart. I might need to think about taking Peach Happy or Astronaut Toad to level seven or take Morton Me Suit up. So let's see if any of these things come into play next week as well. Peach Circuit standard version, Fire Rosalina is shown. Who else is hiding here on the top shelf? Oh, no, no, uh-oh, whoa, wow. See. I'm having flashbacks 
This sucks. Oh, God. Oh, this is hard to see. They did this a few weeks ago, and what they did was the top shelf of a brand new track was made up of two types of things. One, high-end, non-plus skill drivers like Fire Rosalina, and two, non-plus skill me suits like a bubble me suit, a green shell me suit, a double bomb me suit, giga bomb. Now the only thing that makes this unique is a, a peach. You can use peach, level eight quad cap. A lot of people will be doing that because the rest of the options are terrible. See, this is why I don't get why you don't take this track and give it to Poochie. You know, give Poochie an exclusive here. I don't know what they're trying to get us to do. Are they trying to get us to invest in a non-plus skill me racing suit? Because very few people are gonna do that. No one has the resources to do that except the top whales, and even the top whales are not going to want to do that. If I had to choose one of them, I, it might be the, I don't even know, maybe the pink or the peach, or maybe this green one. Uh, uh, that, this is just not fun. It's just not a fun loadout. But what makes it an interesting challenge, I guess, is to use Peach. So I'm going to be using Peach just like a lot of you guys are, uh, especially new players. That's wild. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, we have regular Cupid Zero getting an overlap with the gold one. So terrible for the gold so far. I'm going to be spending 70 rubies to get it, but... Or did I already spend 70 rubies to get it? I guess I did. Um, uh, but we have a, other level 7 cards already. The pink Mark II, the green Comet, the Happy Ride is one of the best from year one. I still have it uh, at seven triple cap. So yeah, that's a it's a it's a lose losing start in terms of ranked for the gold Cupid's Arrow. And it's too bad we we have two Cupid's Arrow tracks that we're using and no coin boxers to enjoy the hitbox on. It's too bad. Four gliders, icy Mario's mustache is one of my most needed to invest flyers. I took it to a half spa day, which is level four double capped. I double cap things earlier than a lot of the top players do. It's just kind of my style. It might not be the best use of resources, but to me, it gets me through into the next with that allowing me to save some of my level tickets. Um, I just had a lot of glider cap tickets, so I wasn't afraid to do it. And I know that by taking this to four double capped, it's kind of like a act of good faith that I'm going to take it higher. So maybe this is the week I take it higher. Again, we want to get that pink Mini Racing suit next week, which by the way, classic Nintendo idiocy right here with all due respect, but the pink Mini Racing suit is in a week two rank track and you can't even get it until you finish week two. You tell me guys, is this Nintendo not knowing what they're doing? Or is this them saying, see, don't you wish now in the future you're gonna really want to get those ranked rewards because they're that doesn't even that, that, that immediately falls apart that logic because all this tells me is oh if I the only thing I can get out of winning ranked rewards is that it'll already have been used that week it's not like what they should do to show us that they really want us to go for these rewards is make this in ranked next week okay so that the people who didn't win ranked this week or week two, sorry, I mean next tour. Week one of next tour. That way, people are like, oh, I really should have got that reward because now it's used first thing. But they use it in the same week. It's, it, it's clearly breaking my brain and I just don't know what to do with Nintendo sometimes. All right, Cuba Zero and our glider is going to be the IC Mario. But don't forget, we have a level eight pink flower glider. It's already level eight. And all I need to do is quad cap it and it will beat any of the other gliders. So that's actually what I'm working with so far. Um, you have the commemorative glittering, glittering glider. You have the gold pass glider. You have a couple other interesting things. Nothing, nothing amazing. Springtime crane. So, okay. That's a loadout there. Very weird loadouts, but you know what? Here's the kingdom, baby. Who cares? So, I mean, I still care. Snowland T, Larry Wintertime, Blue Shy Guy Explorer. Blue Shy Guy Explorer is doing good, guys. I'm sorry, but he is. Um, I kind of wish I had already taken the level 7 triple capped. Uh, it's a fun grind, lucky 7. Uh, Larry Wintertime, yes, he's a coin boxer, but I have not invested in him because he's so small. 
so haven't needed to do it. Um, so yeah, Blue Shy Guy Explorer. Oof, this sucks. And there's the pink speeder. God, Nintendo, you're really making me do the pink speeder instead of one of the new. Why not give a Cupid Zero on this track? <laughs> what did I just say about the wonderful diamond getting overlapped with the 8 bit mushroom? There it is, level 8. I mean, I won't complain about that, but these cards, I've resisted the Tropical Truck, I've resisted the Rainbow Pipe Buggy. Pink Speeder, I think it's time just to cave into the Pink Speeder. I'm really frustrated that I was so excited for these Cupid Arrows for the last two weeks, and I knew this would happen. I knew I would open up the tour, and they would, the game would not force me to use them, not force me to invest in them. Let's see what happens here. We Daisy Circuit RT. Wow, interesting. Please let this be a, wow. This is something I've actually been asking for. A chance to invest in the yellow me racing suit. I think I'm gonna finally do it because look, the other options are Daisy, Triple Banana, which is a bizarre skill to give it. Toad Taurus, which is Giant Banana. That's the same thing as yellow, but without the base point brokenness of a me suit. And that's it. The rest are daisies. It's time. It's time for the yellow me racing suit. Oh god, this saved the tour for me because I was really disappointed in those Cupid's Arrow buffs so far. Now, it's just the starting tour for the Cupid's Arrow. We're gonna get them, we're gonna stash them, we're gonna save and be patient for maybe using them in the future. That's okay to do. Too many carts anyway. Too many cart investments that are on my list. I don't have to lose sleep over it. I was just hoping to see a great double feature where I could really throw down a Cupid's Arrow with coin box, but that's not what happened, and that's okay. That's not what happened. Yellow Me Racing Suit. Let's see our carts and gliders. There's the red Mark II. I knew it would be featured. And there's the silver. I already have six double caps. That's too bad. Um, and then we have Autumn Leaves I need to take further. So, wow. Two gliders I've been waiting on. The Autumn Leaves and the IT Mars Mustache I took to four double caps. Waiting for the next time they would be used to go all the way further. Here we are in that next time. This is exactly my plan coming into place. Take it to four, single cap, double cap, get through the ranked cup that where I needed to get there without spending more tickets than I needed to to get the same placement in ranked. Second place, first place, whatever it is. You wanna calculate your scores and understand that why over invest if you're gonna end up in the same finishing position anyway in ranked cup. So I took it to where it needs to be four, 490 at that time, thinking, okay, next time it's in ranked, I'll get to invest in it without spending Tons of tickets again, because I've already taken it halfway there. This is beautiful. The gold hard hat is here. The fire mantis. These are all interesting ones that people have been talking about considering the yellow hard hat. The regular one is the best in the game right now. Interesting loadout. Okay. Let's make sure my camera is still rolling and then let's do the three rank tracks. Here we go. All right. We are good to go. It's time to race. It's time to race. You've been waiting for this moment, perhaps. Let's take our first look at Daisy Circuit. Uh, it's one of the best soundtracks in Mario Kart history, in my opinion. Probably top 15 uh, theme songs from Mario Kart. Um, it's just a great soundtrack. So let's take a look at Wii Daisy Circuit. Here we go. Let's see how long it is, how many boxes there are. There's the skybox. It looks great. Now that you see the full skybox, it's a beautiful purple to orange. Um, people were kind of complaining about the murkiness of the sky and the original. It's like blown out with light, but I kind of like this right now. It's like cloudy, kind of stormy, beachy. I love the look of it. Here we go. Oh, wow. This, this brings back memories. Oh my god, I forgot about the little indentation in the plaza. This is so cool, this little plaza here. Okay, here we go. Around the cursed statue. Don't curse us, Daisy. You can go either way, it's a figure eight here. There's two big round loops. And then we're going into a garage section. Ooh. It's a curve. There's cones, there's cones. Can we try to hit those cones if we can? Ooh, nice little thin section right there. Now we're going here, going around the lighthouse. Pepper Rabbit mentioned something about a possible extra box. Jump boost off this little ledge? No, we didn't get it. I wonder if there's a way to get a jump boost there. Um, and that's into the track. This curb up here, you can ride it, but I don't know if in this game there's any advantage of doing that. Yeah, we don't get jump boosts off that. So, I don't know. I don't see an advantage there yet. What about the shortcut? I forgot to look for it. 
Shortcut goes through the building up there, and I did not see it. I hope they haven't taken the shortcut out. In fact, you know what? I'm starting over. I want to look for the shortcut. This is one of my favorite shortcuts in uh, Mario Kart Wii. Through the building, you go up a little ramp and shoot out. We might need a mushroom to get it. In fact, let me turn off smart steering, because without smart steering on, we can go off-road. Uh, let's just see if we can see that. I believe it's coming up. It's supposed to be right here. Check it out. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're not gliding, though. It would be cool if we did glided there. But is it an extra box? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Is it an extra box? Is that an extra box? Am I crazy? Well, I just want to check this out because it is a great shortcut. Um, now, in Mario Kart Tour, like I said earlier, you, you're not often taking shortcuts unless you're in multiplayer because you don't want to like skip sections and miss actions. Okay, so we have one item so far. Are we get an extra box here? Are you kidding me? That's is it really an extra box? All right, what this means is, you see the piranha plant was there. The only way to get that extra box is to either shoot the piranha plant cutout with a shell or a mushroom or turn off, I guess you could turn off smart steering and crash through it either way. You might need to turn off smart steering for this track overall, which is weird because it's going to affect our handling in a different way. We'll study this more on the grind, but that's my initial thought. I could be wrong, and what you guys always do on the Discord is you guys come in with a great analysis of these tracks very quickly. I just can't believe we can't jump through stuff that little curve there. Like we would in like uh, Berlin byways. Let's try this one more time. Let's see if we can just crash into it. First of all, let's turn on smart steering and see if we can do it. If we have to have smart steering on to get this extra box. So there's no other items there. No, no, I missed it. The invisible walls messed me up. Uh, maybe we can't. Maybe you have to have smart steering off. But the smart steering is going to enforce those invisible walls. So let me know, guys. Smart steering off for the extra, extra item box or what? So three cones over there and three cones here. You want to kick the cones? This is great. This might be a... I don't want to promise that it's a 200 action count track. Oh, I see. There's an early item box there. And then the item box set. I don't think it's possible to get both of those. Is this a 200 action count track with gold knee suit? You guys let me know. We got a nothing run and we're already at 40k. This is the power of the knee suits. Wow. It's going to be a fun track to grind. Absolutely fun track to grind. Uh, I'm counting my coins for daily limit break. We got 86. I'm gonna go to 599, just under the 600 limit for the day, and then we're going to break the limit with a big run after that. Uh, okay, interesting. Um, we won't race Peach Gardens R, but we'll do the new track variants. Peach Garden, not Gardens. Uh, we'll do the new tracks. Let's go to Peach Circuit and check it out. Or we can do the other Daisy Circuit real quick. We wanna look at our opponents and just see if like, we have any like crazy tier 99ers. You can click on any of these opponents. Look at their highest tier. That's what I'm worried about. I want to look for anyone in the 80s or 90s. Um, 77, not worried about this player. I, if I go through and I see no one in the 90 tiers, there's a tier 80. Then I can just chill. I'm not really worried about ranked. Um, let's go to Ranked Cup Week 2 and go to Daisy Circuit RT. So this is the one with the yellow me racing suit. Let's see how this will, will play if we're using Giant Banana. We might not get Frenzies because we're only level 1 on this test run, but let's see how it goes, how the track plays. I love the little star lights inside the dump, the, uh... oh wow. Inside the, what do you call it? Tunnel, I guess. There is a nice sunset out there off the side. We need to do a pop filter and see what that looks like. I need to remember to do that before we go. Maybe we can do a, a snap a photo challenge. Okay, ramps, coins. God, y'all, oh, this section here. I don't know if a frenzy would carry all the way into there. Got so many cones. This is awesome. It's cones. Uh, my racing is back, so I won't know this track yet. Okay, here's a GDF right here. 
nice spot on these ramps for it. Nice spot, nice spot. Because the ramps are essentially narrow. One hit, two hits, three hits, four hits, five hits. Are there any other little secrets I'm missing? Let me know in the chat and in the comments. Oh wow, I flew off that ramp and I didn't mean to. I thought the ramp was holding me on. Sometimes you can fall off ramps, sometimes you don't. God, I'm so surprised that it doesn't give you a jump boost. It's kind of like, I could have seen that going either way, and it went, it went that way. But Berlin Byways has a little tiny curve that's similar to that, and I thought we'd get a little jump boost. Kind of like in Berlin. All right, not many cones on this side. Oh, how did we end up under this? Oh, so you can go under this too? Oh, wait, what's going on? Is that how we were last time? I guess it was. Interesting. They've really extended this track. This is, I think this will probably be a 200 track because of that extended loop section. But the two tracks and RTs can really extend the length of the track with all these ramps. Pretty good. Nice track. Very cool. Let me know what you think. Have you guys found any glitches in the track? Um, I love that billboard with the daisy candy, whatever that is. I like it. Ooh, 24,000 clean on the dot. That's really nice. Plus 58 for our coins. And we're going to be doing Peach Circuit next. So stay tuned. Do we have a snap a photo challenge where we can try the new pop art filter? Now, pop art is a style of art that kind of looks like comic booky. The cartoon filter they already have, it, that's pretty close to pop art. I don't know how the new filter would differ that much. All right, let's snap a photo here on the new track as we segue into Peach Circuit. And let's try this new uh, photo challenge, photo filter. Two or more drivers, cart gliding. So we're gonna wait till a glider section. And you can, uh, we'll take a look at this. Hold on. New music. Nice, is this the DS, same version as in DS? I think it is, it's just a remastered. The music around this one is interesting because we have GBA Mario Circuit already in Mario K8 Deluxe where they have the band version of this theme, but it's not this exact theme. It's a beta version of this theme from the original beta version of Super Circuit. This is deep Mario Kart soundtrack trivia here for you guys. You guys taught me this though on the Discord because you guys know your stuff. Great music. Um, so here's the new track. This is what it looks like. There's two ways you can move the camera around and snap a photo. You can use your finger to swipe around like this, and then you can turn on this gyro, and then you move your body, and you can actually rotate from here, and you see we're making a circle. And then from here, we can turn this off. Wait. From here, we can swipe around like this. Then you move your body and swipe around further. You can get around the drivers and actually move your position a little bit on the track. It's something that took me a little while to figure out. See how we're going around her when we do this? And then you move over here, and then we're suddenly going around this axis point. So this is how you can change up your view and get a great screenshot. Um, so let's find our glider, and then we're gonna drop that pop art filter. But this is like pure Super Nintendo World. They're just trying to make it look like the movie or Super Nintendo World. Eh. Eh, I really wish they had blowed up this track in a more unique way. Uh, those bushes are new. Check these bushes out. Those little puffy bushes, that's new. That's cool. I mean, it looks it, it looks really cute and great. I just wish they had done like an evening time or a night time. How magical would that have been? Here we go, we're gonna be gliding here. Now, we have to find our drivers. Where are our drivers? We can move to the other driver positions. Where is everybody? Uh, hello? Where are you guys? Where are you? Oh, here they are. So two or more drivers, a car gliding, and let's make this our shot, kind of like that. That's pretty cool, I think. Is there a cooler shot to get? I'm gonna get all of them. That's cool, like that. Alright, let's check out our filters. Ready? Let's find pop art. Blur. Blur 2. Sepia. Black and white. Smear is cool. It'll stretch out from the center. Cartoon, this is already kind of pop art. Let's see where pop art is. That's almost exactly like cartoon. Hold on, sorry. I knew this would be very similar to cartoon. 
So in Cartoon, you see some of the lines of the land going under the water, and you see that kind of dot matrix um, bitmap dot pattern, but for, per for Pop Art, it's, it's almost exactly the same. It's just softer. That's a little disappointing, honestly. I would love them to give us even more filters that are quite different. Like a infrared or crazy weird... I don't know, there's just so many they could do. Oh, I forgot to take my shot. Okay. There you go. Anyway, more filters please, and we'll... If we got more filters, we could bring back the screenshot challenge for a little bit maybe, but... We're gonna need a little bit more than just a... Another cartoon filter. It's so weird they just did that one filter. I just don't understand this game sometimes. Most of the time. Um, now let's go to Peach Circuit and actually race it. So we're gonna do the regular Peach Circuit here in week two, ranked. Oh, wow, crazy loadouts again. We have Peach, and let's go to the pink. Let's go to the Cupid Zero, it's our best card. And then, yeah, right here. We can max out these super gliders. I was waiting to do it just in case for some reason, like the plaid ribbon needed, got, got ranked. It's my lowest of the super gliders in case it was in a ranked. I didn't want to finish all the rest of the gliders and have that one still at a lower level, but that's just my my conservative approach. Just wait till I know what I have in the next ranked, and then I can feel safe to spend all those things. It's pretty wide. This is going to be nothing like the original, and part of why I wanted it to look different is we have so many of these blue sky, white clouds, um, Peach's Castle tracks. We've got DS Mario Circuit, we've got 3DS Mario Circuit with the Peach's Castle. Same exact render of Peach's Castle. It's a, this is a short track, it's going to not make much of a mark on people. Um, wow, listen to that bass and I have. Oh god, this is short. They could have done so much with this. They could have made us go through the waterfall, or like... I really just... It's so short. This is one of the shortest GBA tracks we've ever had. I don't even know why they remade it. Um, I really don't know. This, there has to be Boost Scores Pass 2 or something. I, why? How cool would it have been if they had set this at nighttime with Under the Stars, and if it were a little bit longer, and only went through like, we went behind a waterfall just a little bit. They can take liberties with these GBA tracks. I know some people got pissed off about Sky Garden, that they changed the layout, but really, those tracks were so simple and flat and primitive compared to what's possible now. Wouldn't you rather them take a little liberty and extend the elevation, extend the track a little bit and make it more in depth? I would have loved for them to do this. Instead, what you're gonna have is you're gonna see the thumbnail or see a shot that someone takes and you can't even tell which track it is because there's too many Peach's Castles. They look too different. I've always said that a big thing that makes Mario Kart tracks great for fans, like what makes a fan favorite track? What makes a fan favorite track is feeling like you're at a unique individual environment in the Mushroom Kingdom that is distinctive and unique unto itself. And when we have like five, six Peach Castle tracks, and then the Mario, all the Mario tracks that have blue sky and white clouds, just bring in a different skybox, make it at evening time. Also, one thing that made the original GBA Peach circuit so distinctive is the pink castle. For some reason that game, it was all pink. And what you could do is in the, in the sunrise environment, you know when the sun rises and sometimes on those beautiful mornings, it casts a pink glow over everything. You could have made it set at sunrise with the sun just barely coming up and there's this beautiful pink glow to everything. And it would feel like really different. Instead, they just go for this Super Mario Bros. movie, Super Nintendo World, you know, Mario 3D World, generic looking Peach's Castle. And I just, it really is uninspiring to me on an artistic level, aesthetic level, creative level. But anyway, maybe I, my dreams are too big for the confines of this game. Uh, it's a fun track. It's very short. It's not going to move the needle much for players. I'll tell you that much right now. We'll end out with Peach Circuit T. We'll go to the T version. Let's do Peach Happy because she's my fave. Um, we'll do the Hot Pot for now. We'll do this. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you feel me at all? Feel me on that? Peace Circuit T, last track of the day. Here we go.
Ooh, I love, I do love the uh, the banner sign at the top with that metal crown. Really nice touch. You know, I can I can disagree with the general approach to the track, and at the same time, I can give props for all these little details, like the apple tree there with the little red apples on it. They designed plenty of new assets just for this track, and I do love seeing that. That's a great starting game with that green metal banner at the top. Really good. All right, we're already getting a lucky stuff frenzy. We blast it in the first place, though. We even have a beach over here. Peach Beach vibes. So we kind of gone down to the beach. What if we went in that cave, you know? How cool would that be? There's a whole cave with a waterfall in there. It's just so tempting to, to wonder, what's in that cave? Why can't I drive into that cave? That's what makes Mario Kart 64 tracks fun, is there's little off-road shortcuts and you can go out of the normal confines of a track and go into secret passages and stuff. We really want more of that in our tracks. What you don't love is that over the years, as great as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is, and it is, it really is the best console in Mario Kart game of all time. You know, objectively speaking, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but you have a safety that was never present in the original tracks. There's a safeness where you can't go out of bounds. You always hit invisible walls. You can't explore the outer confines of the track. You can't do crazy creative shortcuts, although someone did find a crazy creative shortcut on Electrodome uh, just a couple weeks ago. So you can still find them. They're more like hacks and glitches, but I really miss the open frames and borders of some of the early tracks in the franchise. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of waxing poetic, waxing philosophical to you guys about Mario Kart tracks. As we have all these tracks being remade, every time it's a chance to honor the original great design of these tracks and also maybe just throw in a couple extra touches that really make you remember why you love Mario Kart. I think this track is a missed opportunity for any of for all of that because the GBA glow ups are so such a cool idea. You really could have transformed this. It could have been one of the most magical tracks we've ever had. But anyway, here we are, 68, and I'm opening up my tour gifts just to get the first few pipes. We'll leave with this. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments on this video, and I hope you have enjoyed this tour breakdown. We get some green pipes here. Maybe we'll get a super glider to save a super glider ticket. We'll see. Here's a couple of normals, some rubies. Got to fill those rubies back up, thankfully. Now the music goes away for some reason. There's a normal cart. I'm still collecting those for daily selects. Ooh, super cart, Paraway, nice. Paratrooper win, guys, Paratrooper win. Stay tuned. Ooh, another super cart, Chrome DK Jumbo. And the gold bells, mark that for my tracker. Also did a uh, tutorial for the Bam & Gerbs tracker and the DKR sheet. If you guys hear me talk about the Bam & Gerbs tracker, the spreadsheets for the game, and you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the new video I just posted, the Mario Kart Tour tracker guide for dummies, the complete idiot's guide. Because if you're like me, you're a complete idiot when it comes to spreadsheets, and that's okay. I'm here to dumb it down for you and help you understand how you can use some of these resources to improve your game. That's it for today. We'll see you on the grind. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the new tour and anything I may have missed because I surely missed some things. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, little treat for those who've made it all the way to the end here. Let's pop over to our data mining channel. Spoiler warning, and let's see what's coming. Yes, there it is, the banner. We knew would probably be hiding in the game files for a Mario vs. Luigi tour coming next. Nintendo, you gotta tighten up. You're getting sloppy here. We're finding your next tour very early. Very easy to find that image. So Mario vs. Luigi Tour, will more Game Boy Advance tracks be coming to the next tour? You know where to look. Keep your ear to the ground, guys. Stay sharp, stay kind to one another, be safe, and we'll see you guys in the next tour. Next video, not the next tour. Tuesday for the grind or Monday, stay tuned to the Discord to find out when that is. And we'll grind rank together and we'll crush it. As Shy Guy Grant says, hope you reach all your goals in life. Stay hydrated. As Tough It says, may the frenzy luck be with you. As frenzy fans say, may the frenzies be fairly in your favor. From the Mario Kart Tour community to you all, take care, guys. Have a great tour. Peace out.